In this Python Streamlit tutorial, we will make a web application with empty widget. I will show you how to do this application step by step in the video. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I will activate the web server. I open terminal. I open command input. I activate the activate file so that the codes I write run in the virtual environment. You can activate the web server by typing this code. I activated the web server. First, I add an input object. A value in seconds will be entered into the input object by the user. I added the input object to the web page. I will add a button object. When the button is clicked, the counter will start counting. I added the button to the website. Let's do a simple example. If the button is pressed, the value entered in the input object will be displayed on the screen. The value I entered is shown on the screen. I want the application to perform an action during the time I enter. I create a loop indicating the elapsed time. I pause the program for one second in each loop. To do this, I import the time library. I'm testing the app. The application works as I want. Let's give it another try. I want an image to be displayed on the screen when the time entered in the input object is completed. You can access the image from the GitHub link in the description of the video. I'm adding the image to the website. Let's test the application. I will do one more example. As you can see, when the new cycle starts, the text and image on the screen are deleted. In other words, a new cycle needs to start to delete the text and image. So, what should I do if I want the text and image on the screen to be deleted every time, even within the loop? To do this, we can use the empty function. I create an empty object using with. I put all the codes in the object. Let's test the application. Even within the loop, the text is deleted every time. We can make a few examples. In this video, we learned how to use the empty feature. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.